must be comfortable with y'all because I just love exposing myself. And I'm just to say hi. I know everybody is doing all right. And thank you for the part that you all play in my life. <laughs> hello, everybody. Everybody, hello. How are you? Tell me, how do you do? Hi, guys. It's your girl Gypsy back with another video. I hope you guys have had a wonderful, wonderful week. I, as you can see, am in a new setting. This is where I'm going to be. As you guys know, I like to switch it up, videotape in different locations to go over the old coming. Cause you can't guess what Gypsy, cause that's how it's supposed to be. You can't guess with me. Even in real life, you can't guess what I'm doing. But yes, this is the new setting and I'm really excited with this, you know, new area I'm in. Like I said, I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. This is the last month of the year and I know it's been, woo. being said I wanted to bring back this series because I realized I haven't really talked I mean I've always talked about myself I'm pretty transparent to a point because I still have a level of privacy that I keep for it Mwah. but I'm like you know what maybe we need to have a heart to heart talk again so we're bringing back bedside manner bedside manner is like my lifestyle series like basically to talk about myself you know, I like to get, you know, a little, a little gritty, a little deep, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> that is what we're going to do today. So, it's going to be the second installment of Bedside Manor number two. And we're going to talk about making the spirits ring when your pockets don't. I know, it's like, Jara, what? We're going to be like a little down today? No, not down. Truthful, that's it. So, as you guys know, I was furloughed back in March. And I made a video talking about basically how my experience was in retail bookstore and everything like that and it was time for me to depart i took that furlough as oh we have god releasing me i'm not even joking that was my release i never looked back i didn't want to go back and i didn't go back because i quit <laughs> and it's like jared you really quit during the pandemic yes i sure did but that's not the point but just want to give you a backstory so with that being said i am still unemployed as i speak I know you're wondering, like, so how have you been living, surviving the grace of God? The grace of God. That I, that's my only answer for you, is the grace of God, my family, and the grace of God, like I said. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so it's been really hard for me personally because I am a gift giver. I love giving. I love being able to bless somebody else. It's always the type of person I've been. That's how I was raised. That's how my... You know, my family is in a general sense, like we're, we're just giving people. Like we love helping people, we love being able just to make anyone smile. It doesn't necessarily have to be material, just anything. We just love being able to help people. So when this time comes around Christmas time, I mean, I love Christmas time. Like not just because, you know, it's Christmas <laughs> and stuff like that, but just being able to just like give gifts and stuff like that. Like that's so cool. Like, I got, ah, love that. So it's really hard for me because my funds are pretty limited and it's a holiday season and you see so many cool stuff like i every time i go into a store even before chris even before december because i always you know try to do gift you know gift shopping earlier but we don't have the funds <laughs> you know it's kind of hard to do stuff early you got to do it when you when you have it you know and i just see so many cool stuff i'm like oh this is really cool i want to get this for my sister my mom my best friend my boyfriend like you know whoever and it's just really hard kind of accepting like you know some people might not be able to get stuff this year and that's not a reflection of you and i think this is for anybody who is like me you don't define yourself with materialistic things you define yourself by your actions so you think that because you're not able to do a certain thing that you know someone's going to look at you differently that they're going to demean you that you look like you're you know less than stuff like that and that's definitely not the case like plenty like most of my uh, not most all of my best friends have called and came to me and they're like you understand if you're not able to do something like completely understandable with me being the person i am because i am stubborn <laughs> i'm just like no i'm gonna find a way and then my bank account is like like but <laughs> and i know i just gave you guys a holiday gift guide and you're like jar how you gonna give us a holiday gift guide but you can it's not about me though it's about y'all and i'm trying to help y'all out <laughs> so 
it's just been really hard but my advice to anybody if you're in a predicament like i am not necessarily unemployed but the funds are tight like four not you know what i'm saying like it's tight <laughs> and everything like that just be realistic with yourself you really gotta you just accept to yourself like it's okay if i cannot give everyone what i want or even not everyone in general like true immediate family first that is your first priority so my first priority is my sisters my mom my dad and my grandma obviously i have to do my grandma gotta put my grandma in there um yeah i know my boyfriend was on the first priority list he is a priority don't get me wrong priority but he even understands like there might be some stuff that he might not be able to get but some of the gifts that you know i've been thinking about giving people there are, you know, look at, you know, some stores that have book deals and stuff like that. I've been looking at book deals, getting coupons. Like, some bookstores, even any bookstores, are sending out coupons if you're subscribed to a mailing list. So, make sure you subscribe to, you know, small bookstores mailing list because that's a really good way to be able to save money. Um, little stocking stuffers is really the coolest way to do stuff. Like, there actually are some books that come in, like, a pocket size. I think it's really, really cool. And it's under, it's not even, I don't even see more than $12. So really just make a budget for yourself, you know, do make a first party list. That first part is cannot be 10 people long. <laughs> okay, at the most has to be five people. But don't let don't let this season get you down or think it's a bad reflection of you because you know how you truly are. You know your true personality. You know that you're a great person inside and out. Always things to work on, but you you know the people who truly care about you know your true character, and that's what truly matters. It's a lot of truth because it's the truth. <laughs> but I just wanted to come on here and say that because I feel like I might not be the only person you know dealing with this kind of feeling stuff like that. You know, I've been feeling like this really the whole year. People's birthdays and stuff like that. Still have fun. You know, even if you're not able to give a gift to someone, if the least they if the least you can do is maybe go to a park or something. Or they have the social distance Christmas celebrations like the drive through you know, um, light shows or stuff like that. That's a gift in and of itself. So I really, really hope you guys have a safe, safe, mask on <laughs> Christmas season, holiday season. I love you guys so much and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe. Thank you for sharing my videos, guys. And I'll see you next video. Gypsy out. Bye.